Alright. Managing to get a game in today, which was actually a little bit unexpected. Um, we'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, I guess the the secondary thing on on that is that it also kind of means that my mental state is maybe not the greatest. Um, let's see. Anyways, um, this this board. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it seems kind of weak. Like, um, I guess you have payoff in farmer's market, like, uh, if you do draw, but the draw is a little bit tough because, like, you either have to be running some kind of necropolis, either shantytown or ox plus stowaway, which is not amazing, or you have to be kind of running these alternating turns with landing parties. Um, I think it's probably worth going for, like, the, some of the landing party stuff. I'm not sure exactly how how we want to get there. Um, I think the opening is probably pretty clearly look at rat catcher. Rat catcher being rich, uh, with coming with the silver. Um, I, I do, I do like that. So I don't know. We might actually open two rat catchers, uh, just coming with the silver. Um, I'm not actually sure how valuable having the extra money is, but uh, it seems, it seems all right. Um, I guess look out, you're probably trying to procession into landing party a bit later. Well, maybe that's fine. Um, like if I match the look out and take rat catcher, I'm just, I'm not really sure how to, how to work this one. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really tempted by this double rat catcher thing. The, th the thing with that is, like, you're, you're gonna hit, like, five, but that's not actually useful. Um, and, like, maybe you wanna be buying, like, dungeon landing parties. So maybe we do do the lookout, especially, like, lookout if we hit two, we're, we're fine. So I'm gonna go lookout rat catcher. Um, this is, a this is just, it's, it's a weak game. Um, We'll, we'll at least match the lookout. Okay. It looks like you may not be buying rat catcher here, which is, I mean, it's probably okay. Um, I, I do think the longer term goal is, is like mass landing party, um, so that you can kind of alternate turns with them, but, uh, there's not really any tricks. So it's just like, well, I guess the I guess the trick is that like when you do your landing party turn, you put out a bunch of duration stowaways. Um, you hit some somewhat large number. Uh, trashing a copper there is disappointing. Um, you hit some somewhat large number, uh, but uh probably with like no plus buy um but but like you you hit a number with only treasures uh, do i want a farmer's market yet not really um i think i'll probably take a dungeon uh just i don't i don't know that the plus buy does me a whole lot quite yet maybe it's okay not sure I mean, like, do I, do I, do I add a farmer's market right here? I kind of only want to have one dungeon. I could also go with, like, a stowaway. Um, as long as I'm non-terminal and I'm not really hitting big numbers. Yeah. Let's do that. I guess the farmer's markets might hit pretty big numbers pretty fast. I'm actually getting a little bit concerned. Like, if this is a landing party, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, worried about, um, just like falling too far behind on, on this. Actually, I think it's a relevant split. Um, so that would be, that would be bad. Uh, 
definitely stow away. Uh, this could be another landing party, although at this point I am really looking at the, the farmer's market or, or even like a procession uh, already. Um, I guess the, the procession issue is... Uh, well, it might be okay if it's a farmer's market, because like if you play a farmer's market, that'll be three, and that'll kind of get me where I want. So I think at this point it might be like enough money that I just am able to... I'm able to do that reasonably. Um, I may actually not play it on two coins. Uh, not sure. I guess there's also some question of like, what am I going to get around to actually uh, top decking the landing parties? I guess you open two lookouts. Alright. Um, so if I play Farmer's Market here, I'm hitting seven or six. Uh, I could also hit five if I discard like Farmer's Market, uh, copper, and that would be gain, and that would be buying a landing party probably. Um, I think I do want to play the lookout, so let's do it this way. Uh, I also get to trash in a state, so that was that was nice. Um, and yeah, let's just go ahead and, and pick up a landing party here. Uh, the the hope is going to be that on um, the farmer's market, uh, I'm able to pick up like procession landing party. Actually, hit a full hit a full eight. I guess one thing with the gold is that um, you you get a bit better turns on your uh, landing party top decks. Something to something to be interested in. Um, Do I actually want to play this rat catcher? I don't think so. So I will hit 8. I'd kind of like to have it in the deck for the proc. Um, so this could be a uh, recession party. Hopefully you buy a duration. I'd sure I'd sure like to be playing this stowaway right here. Otherwise this turn's looking a little weak. Uh, yeah, like that. Um, and actually I'm gonna target uh processioning the farmer's market. I think. Uh just to get a little bit of extra payout there. Is that true? No. No, we're gonna we're gonna do the rat catcher. Um to farmer's market, sure. Um that is a copper, right? Um then I don't know. This five's a little a little awkward. Um I could take another procession. I'm I'm kind of low on on targets. Uh, it may actually be time to like. I could actually buy another rat catcher, like rat catcher silver, or something like that. Um, just because I feel like I need to be putting in coins. Uh, you probably have a stowaway in hand right now, so I'm a little bit hesitant to buy a buy a duration. I guess just like two rat catchers is just better, isn't it? Um, this turn, I think I'm gonna have to just free the landing parties. Uh, my turns are my turns are sucking too much to to do that <laughs> to, to not do that. I guess. Well, 
we'll see what comes up. We may, we may wait a turn for that if, like, the dungeon pulls a, uh, pulls a, um, procession in. Like that. Um, well, I mean, I really just want to fool the landing parties. I don't know that I have to, though. Like, if I do something like this, uh, maybe we procession, uh, we procession a rat catcher to, uh, farmer's market. This lookout's actually dead. That's all good stuff. Um, I guess I could farm land the lookout into duchy. That's not a good thing to do. Um, so probably we just take landing party here. And you get to react or whatever. That's fine. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to get to play the stowaway, sadly. We'll see. I, I would really like to. Um, either way, I, I'm, I'm definitely freeing. Well, I don't know. It depends on what you buy. Always depends on what you buy. Uh, like, if I get to play the stowaway, I'm very happy. Because uh, otherwise this turn's looking pretty unamazing, and you're also going to get the big payoff on the farmer's markets. So, that would not be exactly desirable. I mean, chances are you buy a duration because you have the stowaway in hand right there, right? Um, well, let's trash two and take the farmer's market payout. I think. Yeah. Yeah, let's just take the farmer's market payout, take our last two landing parties. Um, and be, and be at least somewhat happy about that. Uh, I'm that happy about it, but we'll live. Um, I don't know what the end of this game looks like. I guess we're actually like not that far from an end, maybe. Yeah. Especially since, like, I can see farmers' markets potentially piling somewhat quickly here. Uh, maybe this will be a turn where we get both the. We should get both the stow. Well, <laughs> depends on how I play this. Um, I was gonna say maybe we get both the stowaway and the dungeon out, um, which should give us like decent payout on the uh, landing party top decking turn. But I'm not actually terribly confident in that prediction. Uh, there's a lot of stowaways. Um, especially when, like, my deck shouldn't be actually gaining that many from here, I don't think. Um, let's see, I want to do that first because I didn't actually really want to get the uh, farmer's market in the in the shuffle. Um, I don't think there's any... Do I actually keep the lookout in hand? Like, I'd really like to trash the copper, but I think that's actually unrealistic. Right here. Yeah. Um... Play both of these, yeah. Uh, and then maybe like, I don't know, province, province farmers market seems okay. And then next turn we're gonna, we're gonna top deck, I guess five landing parties. Will be the, will be the hope, anyways.
And, and I guess hope I don't die in the interim. This is not like, I don't know. I guess the stowaways are like doing enough draw for you. I could, I could definitely see there being a, there could be, there could be some piles in the, in the meanwhile. Um, I guess that's like also a good reason to have bought the province is that it kind of prevents this uh, lazy pile out with just like farmer's market pop and stowaway buys. Um, although it's not entirely clear to me that it can't just happen anyways. You don't have a ton of treasure. I'm gonna I'm gonna top deck the landing parties this turn. That that much I'm that much I'm confident in. Uh, what I buy. Otherwise, I'm not entirely sure, but it's all right. um, you should not be able to win next. Turn, I don't think. Build three, oh, maybe you can. Um, okay, so I think this is just going to end up being. Uh, oops, I'll do that. I actually want to go ahead and trash the lookout. Um, let's go ahead and trash our lookout. Um, I don't think an estate does me anything. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a rat catcher. Put more silver in the deck. I mean, this is the alternating turns we were thinking about, but we're also kind of like at the end. I would have really liked to have actually picked up a procession that turn. Uh, that would have been, that would have been more ideal, but. I think we should be able to like procession farmers markets into procession and redraw them. I hope. Anyways, um, that that is that is the that is the hope. At least um, stowaways do seem to be drawing pretty okay, though. Uh, I'll say. Let's see, I had three, I had three farmers markets at least, so, uh, minimally I should be able to, uh, to, to get through a full, full cycle of those. I think things are actually setting up pretty good for this upcoming turn, um, especially since I do very much, okay, you actually could get a province. Uh, without. Um, do I want a procession farmer's market in procession right here? Probably. Uh, I would really like to get through a, a full, full farmer's market cycle. Okay, we can. Um, well, I guess that's what's going to happen. Um, does this just win? Uh, it takes like 15 coins. Yeah, this just wins. Uh, you may as well react to these. I'm, I'm winning the game. Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was kind of this build up. We didn't we didn't really get the, to the um, alternating turns, um, but uh, um, it, we did we did get like the one turn payoff. Um, so uh, that that that's what that's what ended up being, um, and. I mean, I was, I was set up well enough for the one turn payoff, I guess, to, to do everything. 
Uh, had you not taken the stow away, um, it would have been, I mean, I, I wouldn't have had the win, but like, I don't know, like my, my alternative there was double province and you weren't coming anywhere close to that, even if I was kind of doing an alternating turn that I don't know how it would have really gone than the one after that. Um, so anyways, I'll uh, see you all.